I got me a new pair of boots and I'm gonna take some bear grease and this is beeswax I'm gonna put that about 50 50 melt beeswax beeswax into this jar here fill it half full of bear grease and the other half of beeswax I'm gonna put water in that pot and slowly heat it up and rub that into the leather of these boots they're uh, I'll show you here in a minute the boots well, this is the rather down. There's that bear grease they made. Really, really clean, good stuff. And put that in this jar. Start melting that, then I'll cut that beeswax off. Do this one handed. I'll fill that up, cut some beeswax, turn this on. Yeah. I'm gonna slice those chunks of that beeswax off there. Get in that jar. Had a stick the other night. Anyway, it's kind of a primitive water sealer uh, beeswax. You can use pine pitch and bear grease, work real good too, but got this beeswax so we're gonna mix that be a good sealer for a bow wood or I'm putting it on my boots probably my leather gloves too <clears throat> got it warming up it's starting to melt already Put my finger in there and burn it more of that wax melted in there with that bear grease and then uh, pull the laces out of my boots and uh, waterproofing them it's a brand new pair of boots i've worn them a couple times i haven't conditioned the leather yet that's when we use conditional leather so these are the boots i picked up they're uh kintrex uh they're the ranchers rubber bottomed and they got a removable <coughs> liner which i think when you're out in the woods is pretty pretty handy you get your feet wet you can take them out make a fire get your feet dry um, dry them out. I'm going to condition this leather here with that, uh, that boot grease I'm making. Bear grease and beeswax. Let's see they're Kintrex ranchers. My other snow boots went to finally blew out on me so I had to get a new pair. Getting that time of year start thinking about it. Oh it's just about done. So the rest of this little wax is melted. You see that wax puts a pretty good coating even on that spoon when it cut or that <clears throat> knife when it comes out. There's one little piece gonna melt yet. I'll take that out. So here's the finished product. Best put that on your boots when it's uh, still warm. Your boots when it's still warm, you get better penetration. So I'm gonna get doing that right now. I've got my boot grease there. Got my boots. Pulled the laces. Um, got a little brush. This isn't a boot brush, but it's gonna be a boot brush. You wanna make sure your leather's kind of scuffed up a little bit. Clean. Take this rag. Don't use a rag. You want to. Oh, this is just going to be for boots. So. I'll just dip it in there. Get you a little on there. Your finger. Start rubbing it in. Still plenty hot. Can't burn my finger. I want to really get around these seams. Around the stitching. And you work it in the stitching areas. And just keep 
keep working around. Ooh, got a new puppy. You guys are gonna see here before long. I just will show you, show you real quick. Oh, our car. This is Timber's son. He's got stuff. He's a terror. Should have named him Demon, but I named him Willie. Say hi, Willie. <laughs> so that's my dog's kid. He's a chewer. He chews on everything. He's terrible. He's ornery. He's ornery baby. Anyway, I'm going to get greasing these boots up. Get around the seams real good. i got to get my boot picked up before he chews on it. Won't be enough wax in the world to seal it up if he gets a hold of it. I see I'm just going to work around all these stitching areas real good first. And then come back and fill the other areas. Well, I got one boot done. You see how rich looking that is now? I'll show you compared to the one that isn't done. Not very good lighting. I'd like to get a couple layers of it on there, but get the gist, gist of it compared to untreated. Inside the tongue, around all the seams, around I'll let that work in. Then I'll I'll do this other one. I'll put at least two coatings. Then I'll get working on this one. This is the second coat I'm putting on here. This is just bear grease. Rendered down bear grease. Trying to help work that wax bear grease from before into it. I let it sit overnight. Soak in. This boot here is pretty much done. A lot more pliable now. It's just softer, softer leather. Water should bead right off of it now. And it's a little greasy to the fill yet, but that'll all work into the leather. And just condition it, make it not as brittle as it dries, and bead the water off better. Oh. So if you guys get a spring bear runner down that bear fat, uh, you can cook with it too. Makes great pastries, really flaky pastries, but uh, probably one of the oldest leather treatments around. I say I mix that first batch with beeswax. Just get some wax in there too. Uh, you can use just render down bear fat. That's what. I'm rubbing in now. I'm gonna do that to my leather gloves too. Oh. Soft on your hands too. Anyway. That is it. Natural homemade boot treatment leather treatment just gonna keep rubbing it in and put them back together hopefully not get wet feet so this is the final finished product got it all worked in real good got them back together so real easy to render down bare fat and I said this was mixed with beeswax it's a uh, pretty hard you can warm it up though it makes it easier to apply something you guys can give a try old uh, old homemade boot conditioner 
ready for winter.